doctor will hear of this insolence. Welcome to In Defense Of, making the case for overlooked, forgotten, or derided movies in five minutes or less. If you don't have five minutes, here's five seconds. Today, In Defense Of, Mission of Justice, a 1992 action movie with a quirky premise packed full of legit martial artists and fighters. And Bridget Nielsen. Kurt Harris quits the police force, tired of the bureaucracy, and instead joins the Peacemakers, half spiritual dojo, half street beat vigilantes. They train at the Mission of Justice, run by election hopeful Dr. Rachel Larkin. Her secret? She's willing to lie, steal, and murder her way to power. Kurt Harris's secret? He's linked Larkin to the murder of his friend and won't rest until she's taken down. No, I'm champion of the world. This is how Mission of Justice opens. That is badass. Within the first four minutes, it's obvious that our cast can put on a convincing and entertaining fight. And in an action flick of this level, early 90s director video, this is the make or break factor. I mean, Don Wilson has never been able to act, but he can kick the crap out of stuntmen like nobody's business, so they put him in eight Blood Fist films. There is legit badassery all over this cast. Karen Shepard, world karate champion. Tony Burton, Golden Gloves boxing champion, and you might know him from all of the Rocky movies. Matthias Hughes and James Liu, too many martial arts movies between them to list. And our star is Jeff Wincott. Jeff Wincott is ace. You may not know him, but you definitely know his younger brother Michael. Jeff Wincott can fight and Jeff Wincott can act. Maybe he's not distinctive enough to have been a major action star, but he's carved his own niche in director video action and plenty of TV. He's a ball of energy and confidently swaggers through the picture with a believably passionate performance. After watching Mission of Justice, I immediately wanted to track down more of his films. All around, the casting here is spot on. Bridget Nielsen was well on her way out of blockbusters at this time, but she She's an effective antagonist here, switching from charming politician to ice-cold crime lord at the drop of a hat. In a nice piece of characterization, she wears a long wig when she's in pleasant mode and reverts to her more famous cropped look when she needs to be nasty. There are two standout scenes in Mission of Justice, and it's worth watching the movie for these alone. The first of these is the gauntlet. In order to secure peacemaker status, Harris must face off against a room full of stick-wielding opponents. With some quick thinking, he does just that. In an era of endless tournament fighting martial arts movies, this is something different, something inventive. I'm sure some other bigger movie must have ripped it off. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but it's too good to have not been ripped off. Apparently Wincott had never used these weapons until 45 minutes before shooting the scene, which is genuinely incredible. The other standout scene is a fight between criminals and peacemakers in a chop shop. This is more akin to the crazy sequences you'd see in Hong Kong action flicks where the unique elements of the environment become part of the fight. Expect liberal use of cars, drills, chainsaws, hoses, and more. It doesn't have the intensity or speed of a Hong Kong sequence, but it's head and shoulders above the Western competition of the time. Death Ring. Let's not forget the plot. Sure, all the tropes are here. Renegade cop, seeking revenge for the death of a friend, slick politician is secretly evil. But the whole mission of justice element is intriguing, and it makes the well-worn plot elements seem fresher than they are. The peacemakers exist somewhere between the guardian angels and a cult. We see the operation from all angles, from them patrolling the streets, to their money-raising efforts, legitimate and otherwise, to the way they get information on their members to use for nefarious purposes. Additionally, the title has a clever double meaning, and just listen to this guitar. I actually think this movie's intended audience does know all about it. Wincott went on to make a slew of director video action flicks, including the phenomenal Last Man Standing for PM Entertainment. He plays a cop called Kurt in that one too, weirdly. The gauntlet scene clearly resonated with audiences and is aped here. My main problem with Mission of Justice is that there's never any real sense of peril. Harris walks into every situation without any fear and effortlessly takes out everyone in sight. Go take down this illegal chop shop. Take two people with you. Sure, no problem. The stakes are pretty low. Once Harris's friend is killed, he has nothing left to lose. Also, check out the DVD cover. What the hell is this? Who looked at that and went, yep, that's fine, that's great, ship it out. I'm Korean, man. He's Chinese. Hello! If you have any affinity for old school action movies whatsoever, you should check out Mission of Justice. I think it can be compared with Marked for Death. Both movies are about an ex-lawman trying to stop a cult-like criminal element taking over their neighborhood. Stretching the comparison, both villains have two faces, but in very different ways. You gotta do it, man. Mission of Justice works. Everything comes together. The action set pieces, the cast, and the unusual premise. And are all inventive enough that it stands out from the pack. 
Seriously. I know it's a cheap DVD, but this is just silly. Look, I can fix it right now. Done.